University of Missouri Healthcare knows you've got better places to be than in a hospital. That's where our world-class technology and highly skilled medical team come in. We get you home sooner. That's important to you and those who wait for you. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends. It's Thursday, July 19th, and we've got two topics today. Maplewood Barn, uh, telling us about a show that's opening next week, and also Missouri Cures. Let's start, first of all, with Margaret Tollerton. Welcome to Radio Friends. Thank you, Friend. Paul. She came in today and she said, I can talk about all kinds of things. I can talk about new breakthroughs or events that we have coming up. Let's talk about, let's mention first of all the breakthrough. Well, I'm excited, thank you, Paul, to um, share with your audiences the latest breakthrough about um, sickle cell disease. And first, I sickle read cell about anemia. sickle cell anemia, right. Okay. So it's a blood disease, primarily it affects minorities. Um, and in Chicago, they um, have a lady that came out in the clips, you know, that in the newspaper clippings that um, I get every day from uh, regarding scientific and medical breakthroughs around the world. So Chicago seemed to be the first, and um, a woman, a full-grown adult, was cured of sickle cell disease. Cured? Cured. Cured. Um, you can go on our website, MissouriCures.org. I um, list the breakthroughs in our news department, um, and that article is on our web website. And then recently, I think it was like last year, I mean last week, um, a child in St. Louis has a testimonial about how she was cured of sickle cell anemia through bone marrow transplantation. So hopefully, I just get so excited because it's those breakthroughs that need to get out so people who suffer from these conditions and ailments and diseases know to have hope. Mm -hmm. and because that's exactly if it happens with one you know, hopefully we're going to see the day that it will be widespread, mainstream right. treatment. Right. And that all ties into some of the events that uh, you yes, have. Yes, thank yeah, you. And a nice the way we kind of segue into That was really that. good, Ties Paul. into events that you have coming up so people can be educated on it. Right. And some of those events, um, they start this fall. In September, we're having an expert about Alzheimer's and the role that stem cells play in Alzheimer's research and treatment. Um, we're also having um, an Mike Nichols from MU, the Vice President of Research and Economic Development, is joining up with a gentleman, um, Scott Hawley from Stowers Institute, to talk about um, research and how research and training for Missouri's next generation of leaders impacts economic development. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we like to promote that Missouri is pro-science, pro-research, um, especially because not only helping um, improve the quality of life for Missourians, but also for improving the economic development mm -hmm. um, for Missouri. And then we're having um, um, Mark Kirk, who is a professor at MU, is traveling down to Springfield to give a talk about stem cells. And then Don Cornelison is going up to Kirksville to give a talk about, um, she specializes in um, testing the potential for using stem cells to treat muscle-related diseases like Duchenne muscular dystrophy mm -hmm. and things like that. So. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a controversial subject. No matter how you feel about it, it's difficult to dispute that progress has been made and it is helping people. But it's something that you have to decide for yourself. Each individual Amen. person has to decide for yourself. The best thing to do is go to this website and, and check it out and look at some of the breakthroughs that have occurred because of the research that's being done. Right. And hopefully, um, you know, I, as um, outreach director for the state, I travel around the state speaking to different groups, um, civic, school, classes, you know, you name it, church right. groups and stuff. And the more education you have, the better Before it is. you need it. Yes, exactly. Because, uh, you know, my grandchildren soon to be uh, um, may have to make decisions regarding my health. So The website, what is it real quick? MissouriCures.org. 
MissouriCures.org. Margaret Tollerton, thank you so much. Thank I know you, you could go on and on and on. Thank you, Paul. But I've got another guest over here. Al, uh, Allie Cassio, welcome, yes. welcome to Radio Friend, Thank you, Allie. Paul. Uh, Maple Woodbourne Community Theater, and we want to tell about a program, the show that you have coming up next week, right? Yes, I am uh, actually the director. I'm a board member, but I'm also a director. This season is my directorial debut. Oh, for... well, good luck. Thank you very much. I'm excited. My cast is, too. So we have uh, Hamlet, well, William Shakespeare's Hamlet, coming up. Every year we do a Shakespeare play. And, and, and this is Hamlet. This is Hamlet this year. So uh, we t came in with my, you know, came in ready to work. This is a mm -hmm. big one to tackle, I think, for first time. But I'm excited. So how many, how many people are in Hamlet? There are 15 actors uh, from around of varying ages. We have, I'm sorry? Well, I was going to say, uh, as a director, do you, you have to be very familiar with Hamlet then, right? Well, yes, you'll, you'll, you're, you're going to test me, I can tell. <laughs> no, but. No, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not. But how much research did you have to do before you start directing this? Oh, man, I, I feel like for the past year, it's been, you know, there's other things that go on in life, but it feels like I've been working and I still haven't gotten enough to really feel like I've mastered it. There's so much out there, almost too much out there uh, as far as resources go to, to look into, and so many people have done it before. Uh, you have, uh, we were looking at John Barton and, you know, Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen are Shakespearean actors and they've all played these roles and you can look to them for, for guidance and there's just so many opinions out there and it's like, how do you make it different? So and is yours, how is yours going to be different? How is mine going to be different? How is yours going to stand out challenge. from the back? That is definitely the challenge. Um, we're trying to keep it tight. We're trying to, because that's the, ch with Shakespeare, either audience members go leave going, what just happened? Or... You, you really want to try and communicate it. So we're trying to, um, we're keeping it traditional and we're focusing on, you know, just having quick scene changes, keeping uh, the action to display what's also going on, the, and really having the actors understand what they're saying so that the audience doesn't have to work so hard, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, so whenever we say what's going to be different about it, that's a hard question. You have to go and find out. <laughs> You'll you have, just to have to come and go and watch the and production. Find out. That's right. It, it, it opens when? It's going to open on July 26th next week. Uh, it'll Is that run, a Thursday? That's Thursday, Thursday, Thursday through Sunday. So 26th through 29th, and then the following weekend, August 2nd through the 5th. That's Thursday through Sunday again, 8 p.m. Okay. And tickets are seven dollars at the door. You can buy them online or uh, or at the door. Okay. Um, and or at the gate. Or at the at, gate, at, at the, the gate, gate, at the window. At the, right. Bring your lawn would, chair and a yeah. picnic and come on out. Uh, or so. And a blanket and just enjoy yourself with the great outdoors. That's right. Uh, all right. <laughs> Allie, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you, And Paul. I wish you the very best. I hope you break both legs doing oh, this. Oh, thank you, you know so what much. I mean, yes. right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll cross our fingers for that one. <laughs> okay. Best of luck with it. So next uh, next Thursday, opening up. Uh, we're out of time for today. Tomorrow, David Newman is, is with us. So I want to remind you, our program, directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute, audio is Pat Akers, KBIA. Our floor director is Danny Madison, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Bowser. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.